Hey everyone, Chris Lancel here, senior writer and real estate coach for TheClothes.com. I was browsing Instagram this morning and some photos from Eric Simon, better known as The Broke Agent, popped up in my feed. Now, if you don't follow The Broke Agent or any other of Eric's accounts on Insta, honestly, you're missing out because this is the sort of content we all need right now. The Close is lucky enough to count the Broke Agent as a contributor from time to time. So, for some fun, my team has pulled eight insane listing photos that Eric has highlighted on one of his hilarious feeds called Bad Real Estate Picks. And I'm going to react to them. And we're all going to laugh a little bit together. Because honestly, if you can't laugh as a realtor, then you wind up you know, drinking an entire bottle of wine on a Wednesday evening, which isn't good for your showings on Thursday morning. You know, not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. Anyway, okay, team, bring it on. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got first. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. Um, well, you know, I did have a fantasy as a kid uh, to one day live in a treehouse, so... I guess technically this fulfills that. What I really want to know is whether or not anyone's really using the counter space there behind the tree. I mean, is it like, Mom, where's my laptop? Oh, it's uh, on the kitchen counter behind the oak tree. Also, you know, it's worth pointing out the solid comment here of I'm stumped. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Excellent. Okay, we're off to a good start. What do we have next? <laughs> I have a lot that I want to say here, um, but let's just start out by sitting back and enjoying the brilliance of Eric Simon's first comment, which is OnlyFans. If you don't know about that, I, I'm not advocating for what OnlyFans is or even admitting that I know what OnlyFans is, but I'm just saying if you know, you know here. Okay, that's an amazing comment. Now listen, I just need to ask, what sort of possible climate could you live in that would require this much air circulation? And, you know, if it's <laughs> if it's really this hot, maybe a window might be helpful. There's a whole wall there, guys. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, next. <laughs> yes. This is what my soul needs right now. Honestly, I can't even be mad at the, <laughs> at the real estate agent about this one. I mean... You gotta, you gotta give this one to the builder, cause there was a builder somewhere that was like, you know, I'm all out of spots for a window seat in this house, but by God, I'm gonna get one in here. So how about right next to the toilet? This, this is just beyond my my comprehension. And again, Eric Simon, uh, broke agent, you're slaying me with these comments here. Tranquil viewing area. <laughs> I mean, stop it. You're gonna make me have to go. Well, I mean, you know, you know. Okay. Anyway. Moving on. Guys, I think we have... Is this the right photo here? Okay, I'm a little confused. Okay, hold on. So, okay, so I'm reading here. This is an image that was grabbed from Realtor.com on a live listing <laughs> in Yelm, Washington. Reportedly, the listing agent accidentally uploaded a picture of a breakfast burrito <laughs> for a new listing. Okay, well... <laughs> Okay, so I have a few questions, I guess. First of all, this looks delicious. Where can I get one of these? I'm a big fan of breakfast burritos. Uh, second of all, in order for this to happen, I'm gonna put myself in the, in the place here. The realtor who uploaded this had to have had this picture of a breakfast burrito saved on their computer somewhere, likely in like the same places that they're saving their listing photos. So I guess, I guess my question here is, why are we saving pictures of breakfast burritos on our computer and why are they intermingling with our listing photos? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a win for the breakfast burrito industry here. Because, I mean, hungrily I say, bring on the next photo here. <laughs> what? Oh, man. This is, this is unique on many, uh, many levels, I guess. You know, I don't I don't care what you want or don't want in your home. Everybody's got different tastes, but there was a realtor somewhere when they were uploading these photos who was like, you know what, we need a picture of this. This is going to do something for us. 
And you're right. It's doing something, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like the levels. This is... I'm a, I'm a fan of this. Uh, shout out, my team over there. You guys, we're getting some good quality photos here. I like this game. Let's... Okay, let's 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 see what we got next year. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so I am a Seinfeld fan, and um, I now now I see the connection here. Uh, levels, Jerry. Levels. Um, if you don't know what that phrase means, don't don't feel bad. Go and Google levels, Jerry. Levels, uh, Kramer, and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, I'm a Seinfeld devotee, so uh, honestly, this doesn't seem that out of line to me. I, in fact, I think I'd buy this house. I'm feeling pretty good about this. But I'm going to have to guess that the real estate photographer was also a Seinfeld fan because, I mean, we know real estate photography is about capturing space, you know, not really stuff. And this is clearly just a picture of a picture of Kramer. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Also, <laughs> is anyone else like super intrigued about the walls in the shower? What is going on in there? We need to know. If this is your house, email me. I need to know what's happening in there. Okay, okay. What's what do we got next here? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not hating on this, all right? I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you here. And if you are hating on this, you're clearly a heartless monster because who could say no to a face like that? Seriously. I mean, can you imagine? I'm laughing. I'm like thinking about right now what the what the initial property walkthrough would have been with the seller and their agent. And they're like walking through the house and, and the agent's outlining, you know, like what is their, what's their plan for selling and marketing. And they're like saying things like, well, we're going to want to do a certain level of depersonalization that way that, you know, buyers can imagine themselves and oh my God, what the hell is this? <laughs> he looks like a nice dog. I'll give him that. It looks like a nice dog. Okay, guys, you know what? Let's, let's do one more. Okay. Give me, give me one more. <laughs> okay, so um, there is a lot to take in here. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to just start off by agreeing with Eric's first comment here, which is the carpet in the kitchen. This is a no-go, okay? I mean, if you've ever cooked, like, anything, you know that carpet doesn't belong here, guys. But I, I got to be honest. I'm looking at this. There's something about this photo I kind of love. Like, this house has given me that distinct, like, local family restaurant in the 1980s vibe. And I am here for it, guys. I am. I would totally eat a likely overcooked steak and a baked potato sitting in this kitchen. I mean, am I wrong? Am I... T would you eat there? I mean, I'd eat there. This feels... There's some nostalgia happening for me, guys. <laughs> okay. Well... I guess that was the last one. I gotta say, it was a nice, nice job, crew. I'm feeling significantly better about my choices as a real estate professional after seeing these choices. And I hope that uh, you guys watching this are too. Don't forget, if you're on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or seriously like anywhere, find the broke agent, okay? These photos today came from an, uh, one of his, uh, one of Eric Simon's, the broke agent's accounts called Bad Real Estate Picks. Um, we'll link it in the uh, description of this video. It's super funny. This is the sort of stuff you need to keep you laughing and smiling throughout your day. He's also got other stuff. The Broke Agent has a fantastic account you got to follow. He's also got the Broke News Network, which, I mean, honestly, I can't even really describe it. You just got to go check it out. Go on Instagram, find these accounts. Trust me, you're going to thank me for it. And speaking of thanking me for it, you could thank me for this video by just hitting like and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We make tons of great real estate content. You're gonna wanna have this stuff in your life. Head over to theclose.com, check out some actionable real estate insight and strategy that you can use to improve your business, and make sure to check out the Broke Agent's contributions there. We'll have a couple of those linked in the description as well. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next time. <laughs>